Okay, our next word that we are going to learn today is the word well. So in the word well, our first letter is W, and W makes the W sound. Can you make the W sound? Our next letter is E, and it makes the short E sound, eh. Make the eh sound. Okay, and then we have two L's at the end, and both of those L's together make the ul sound. Make the ul sound. All right, let's take these sounds and we're going to put them together. So you can get your choppers ready. We're going to make each sound and then we're going to blend it together. W, e, ul. Well. Let's do that again. W, e, ul. Well. Let's try it one more time. W, e, ul. Well. Good. So, well usually means good. So, um, you might be feeling well, meaning you're feeling good, you're not feeling sick. Or there might be something that you do very well. Um, Miss Simons enjoys singing, and I think I do it well. So, that means I do a good job at singing. All right, let's come over here to our sentence. And we have a picture. Here's my friend Teddy. He's got some tissues and some medicine and a thermometer. Do you think Teddy is feeling well today? Let's read the sentence. All right, so I'm going to have you read it with me because I know, well, you know some of these words, but I'm going to have you read it after me, actually. So I'm going to read it the first time, okay? Teddy is not feeling well today. You can tell he doesn't feel well because he, he's got tissues and a thermometer and medicine. It looks like he's sick. Poor Teddy. All right, so now I want you to read it with me. Teddy is not feeling well today. Poor Teddy. I hope you feel better. Okay. And sorry, I clicked the wrong thing. <laughs> All right. So now we're going to do an activity. It's called Can You Do It Well? So we have some pictures. And either we can do it well, so we're going to put it over here on the green side with a check mark, or we don't do it very well. We need to work a little bit more. Just because you can't do something well now doesn't mean that you shouldn't try. That just means it needs work. We need more practice. Remember what Ms. Simon says, if something is hard for us to do, we have to keep trying. And remember, bubblegum brain, it helps your brain stretch and grow so the more you try something the better you'll get at it okay so in this first picture we have somebody reading can you do it well some of you can read pretty well some of you actually most of you can read pretty well but we can always learn to read better so i'm going to put my friend over here under needs work because even miss simons um, if I go a long time without reading and I pick up a book to read, then I read it slower. And then um, if I read every single day, then I can read faster and understand the words better. So I think reading is something where everybody can keep practicing. So I'm going to put it under needs work. You can be a great reader and still need to practice. All right, the next picture is riding a bike. Can you do it well? I bet some of you do it pretty good riding bikes. You've had lots of time to practice since school has been out. Miss Simons is going to put this picture under needs work because I have not ridden a bike since I was a young kid. And um, I tried to ride a bike the other day, and it was kind of scary. <laughs> so I need to practice riding the bike a little bit more. 
All right, what about cleaning? Can you do it well? I don't know how you guys are at home, but I know we were good cleaners in the classroom. You all cleaned very well when we had our little cleaning parties. So I'm going to put it over here for the check mark. You do it pretty well. What about baking? Can you do it well? If somebody helps you, can you bake some cookies that are delicious? And then Simon is going to put baking under the check mark side because I like to bake and I can do it well. I make lots of nice yummy treats for Jeremiah and I to share. Okay, in this next picture, we have a group of children and they're singing. Can you do it well? We're some great singers in our classroom. Sometimes we might need some work. Remember, even Miss Simons goes a little off key sometimes. <laughs> it happens. It's all right. But I'm going to put it over here under the check mark. We do a pretty good job at singing. And our last picture, we have somebody drawing. Can you do it well? I think we have some really great artists in our classroom, but I'm going to put this picture under needs work because Miss Simons has not been drawing as much and I really need some practice. So it's okay if you don't do something very well or if you need to practice and work some more on it because as long as you're actually practicing and doing the work, you're going to get better. So here's our list. What does yours look like? Is it, is it close to Miss Simons' list? Or is it different? Is there something that you do well that Miss Simons needs to practice? Or is there something that Miss Simons does well that you need to work on some more? Okay, great job today, guys. Um, I'm going to go back to our word, well, and I want you to make the sounds of each um, group of letters, or each letter or each group of letters, because that L. Remember, when we have two L's there, it just makes one O sound. It's not W, E, O, O. Those two L's together are going to make a O sound. Just one O sound. So I want you to go through and um, we're going to make the sounds. I'm just going to underline it and I want you to make the sounds and then we'll blend it, okay? All right, great job today, guys.